So, apparently I messed up, as always. If you're wondering, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be a book tag. This is gonna be the I messed up book tag, which is very relevant, totally works for me, definitely relatable. So, let's answer some questions about books slash kind of movies adaptation, apparently, uh, where I messed up because, yeah. Question number one. Oh, by the way, I will link, as always, uh, the original video and everything creator in the description box. So, question number one. A character's appearance that you misread or imagined differently. Honestly, that could be the whole thing in this video because I never imagine characters the way that they are in the movies. Sometimes I'll get angry about it and then eventually I just get used to it and that's how I just see them from now on. So yeah, not even just characters. Like there's that scene in Harry Potter where Hermione is wearing that pink dress when it's clearly supposed to be blue and they've been trying to justify it for years saying how, oh, pink is her color, it suits her so much better. Which is a freaking lie because we've all seen the Beauty and the Beast, right? And she's the beauty and she's wearing blue and she looks great in blue. So I'm totally wearing a blue dress right now just because I'm that mad about it. <laughs> it's not true. I wish it were though. <laughs> like, I was just already wearing this, but still imagine how petty it would be to actually wear this right now just for this reason. So yes, uh, I'm still mad about this, but as far as appearance, I could name so many different ones. For example, as a teenager, when I was watching Twilight after reading books, I was mad for Bella's appearance. Actually, not necessarily appearance, but the fact that the way she was being acted, because I thought she made no facial expressions whatsoever. Now as an adult, I feel like I can't understand why she would be this bored about the character. But I mean, as a teenager, I was very, very mad with that choice. Same thing with, um, what's his name? Edward because Edward was supposed to look hot and dangerous. And as a teenager, I really did not think the actor looked hot. So, <laughs> teenage Emily was very critical, clearly. Um, but I feel like it's the same with like oh, The Martian, for example, love the book. For some reason, I don't like that actor, which I, what's his name? I'm so bad with names, clearly you're gonna notice this. But uh, Matt Damon, there you go. Uh, I, I don't think he's a bad actor, but for some reason I just don't like his face, which that sounds horrible. Damn, am I judgy today? Uh, but yeah, I think he did a great job. The movie it was awesome. But yes, I did not imagine the character looking like that, probably just because, you know, again, judgy. Another one I'm thinking about is Pride and Prejudice. Technically, I had seen the BBC adaptation before I read the book. And then I've seen the Bollywood version and I've seen the Hollywood version. And I, I have had like this whole competition. I feel like I've answered that in the past, like which character was the best one in which version. And it's been like nonstop a competition in my head. And when I saw the Hollywood version, I thought that the actors were not really the way I imagined them because I grew up watching again the BBC version. So yeah, mm, so I definitely tend to do that a lot. Which ones would you answer? Like obviously give me your answer for every question, but that one is definitely a topic that <laughs> Clearly, I have a lot of opinions on. <laughs> oh my god, I really hope it wasn't like this the whole time. I have a feeling it was. I, I, obviously, all about Emily again. It hasn't happened in a while. For some reason, my camera understood who the boss was, but apparently I need to remind it. I really hope it wasn't like that the whole video. If it were, I'm so sorry. I think I have more of an issue whenever they switch the actor through the thing. Like Twilight, for example, once again, uh, they switched a character, I don't remember her name, like the redhead girl throughout the whole thing. And I hated that they changed it. Same thing with to all the boys I've loved before. You know, the first movie ends with this dude. And then in the second movie, it's a different actor. And like, <laughs> I have more of an issue with that really than uh, the actor looking different than what I thought they would look like. Oh, even Hunger Games. Um, I was okay with Katniss, but I think my issue, I, I don't really, like, it's been a while, but, like, I feel like Pita, I had an issue with it because I really did not imagine him looking that way. I have a really soft spot for Pita, really, because I totally shipped them together, and I still have so many issues, <laughs> unresolved <laughs> issues, really, with that movie. The book, too, really, the ending, I'm still mad about it, but I'm still looking forward to the book, the next book that's coming out, which is a prequel, right? Everyone has been like debating what the topic was going to be about, but it turns out it was about, oh my God, th that dude, <laughs> the mean dude. 
I really am not kidding when I say I can't remember the name of characters like ever. But yes, that dude. I'm so sad it's not about that woman. <laughs> I am the worst, seriously. But yes, I, I remember having issues with Pita. But now I'm okay with it. That's what I mean by like, at first I'm like, no. And then I'm like, eh, I've grown used to it. And now I just see it that way. So it's okay. Question number two. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so it stays on me. Uh, a character's name that you've been <laughs> pronouncing wrong the whole time. Okay, uh, if you don't know about me, I do not read names, which is probably why I actually never remember the names of the characters. <laughs> I don't know why I just realized that. I tend to just like see the first letter and just skip. <laughs> that explains so much. Uh, but one of the ones I remember for a fact makes pronouncing because I have been getting a bunch of comments <laughs> on the video. Uh, I was reviewing Throne of Glass, the first book, and I, I think I pronounced the dude's name Cole, and it's supposed to be Kel, I think, which frankly, Cole sounds way cooler than Kel, so I will keep calling him Cole because <laughs> Kel. Uh, so <laughs> that's definitely the one that pops into my mind, but frankly, I probably mispronounces every name. Actually, when I first started booktube, uh, I used to pronounce Hermione like the French way because that's how I've always heard it, Hermione. I couldn't, no, I couldn't say it in English, but obviously now I'm okay. But yeah, that that is definitely a common team too. Whenever I'm used to uh, pronouncing it the French way, and I have to figure out the English way. So, yeah, a, a real struggle for sure. Number three, an overused trope that is your guilty pleasure. Um, I do like a good hate to love, which some people really don't like. For some reason, it just works for me. Um, also the one, the chosen one, especially if there's magic or magical school, I'm absolutely okay with it. I do not like though when it's like farmer or, uh, when the like master, the magical or whatever power is super fast, that annoys me. But the one with like a destiny that has magical powers, I am a hundred percent okay with it. I will read all the books with that topic. <laughs> Number four, a cliche character type that you like better on screen than reading about. Can I be like more general even? Um, I, are you ready for this? Am perfectly okay with romance in movies. I get secondhand embarrassment much more easily reading a book than watching it, watching the movie. So like the notebook, for example, I have never read the book ever, but the movie, I'm okay with it. And I understand that there's like some horrible tropes in it. And I know, I know, but for some reason, again, I'm perfectly okay with it as a movie. For some reason in my head, it's much easier to realize, yeah, there are issues, but whatever, it's a movie, it's entertainment. And I know it, you could use the same, the same explanation for a book, but my brain is like, no, nah, <laughs> no. <nah." laughs> so yeah, I'm a flawed human. It happens. Question number five, a word phrase that you learned because of its use in a book. Um, I mean, I grew up speaking French and now reading in English, so a lot. I mean, even in French, I used to have a very good vocabulary and I just, spelling also, because I kept seeing the words properly. That's a really good trick, by the way, if you have kids uh, or even as an adult, reading a bunch definitely helps you know how to spell words because I remember as a kid, like when I would do like a spelling contest or something, I don't know how I say that in English, but uh, I would write, like if I didn't know if there were like two S's, two S's or one, I would just write both of them. And I just knew because one of them looked better in my head, which I was just used to seeing it the right way. So that's how I used to do it. Now, obviously, because I've learned English, I struggle more because so often English and French have the difference like that, like two S's and one in English versus French. So Yes, it's definitely harder now, but definitely would recommend just reading. <laughs> you probably read if you are here, but uh, yes, that's definitely uh, something I learned <laughs> a lot. Or I could just be petty and say the whole, she let out a breath that she didn't know she was holding. I have never heard that in real life, like ever, but I've read that in most books ever written. I don't know why. <laughs> Question number six. Have you ever not read or completed a required reading book for school? No, but yes. Um, I am definitely the person that will read the whole book even if it's boring. I just have always done it, like for school, obviously. Now I'm much better at DNFing books, uh, but I definitely always read them, except I remember one specifically in university. I think it was a like women in writing or something in literature type of class. 
and she made us read a lot of like experimental stuff which I remember this specific book without any punctuation which 300 plus book with no period or comma is pure torture so I remember not finishing that one but technically she knew we wouldn't finish all of them and she was okay with it so was it really required I don't know is it cheating maybe but that's my answer like really like really no punctuation at all for 300 pages too much for me number seven have you ever or wanted to skipped a chapter from the point of view of a character that you weren't interested in um i don't think i have done it but i've definitely thought about it very hard for some books the only ones that really pop into my head would be things like the last book in the shade of magic trilogy the last book i can't i can't they were like pointless characters like i know we saw the point of view through um like we saw the story through the eyes of uh, the king and the queen like those chapters i was like what's the point uh i know that even i think it's the grisha trilogy uh some chapters you were following like mall or something whatever his name is my friend mispronouncing that one uh but i didn't really care about him as a character like i i liked him fine but i hated him with the romans that was probably my issue but yeah i'm sure it happened a lot but i never skipped them let me know in the comment section actually if you have ever skipped i know some people do it which like you're kind of a monster but at the same time i kind of admire you so <laughs> and question number eight have you ever canceled social plans to read a book honestly i don't think i have but i wouldn't be surprised if i did but like if we switch it to would i do it now no i don't think i would like I would skip the event no matter what if I was reading or not if I really didn't want to go to it but I think I'm I have enough self-control to put the book down to be honest I think it's because I haven't had a book that I couldn't put down in a really long time like if I think like you know when the first Harry Potter or the next Harry Potter would come out and I would like just do that until I fall asleep every day um those are like the times I would have probably skipped you know an event but I mean at that age I really didn't have much going on <laughs> so eh. uh but yeah uh, have you i'm sure some of you have actually i would love to know what book though because so uh that's gonna be it for this book tag let me know in the comment section your answers and also any book tags you would like me to do because i feel like they're fun to do once in a while so definitely leave me any recommendation thumbs up subscribe i will be putting more videos on the screen that i recommend you check out and i shall see you in my next video very soon bye now you and me camera we're gonna exchange some words.